I'd like to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what we've done in terms of low PIM DAS cables. We've seen a lot of demand uh, in the last uh, couple of years for IDAS cables, plenum rated low PIM cables, PIM cables that would hold up to uh, both static and dynamic PIM. We have a portfolio of 13 cables. We have nine of them represented here in this keychain, but we have uh, in a helical corrugated sheath. We have a quarter inch, a three-eighths and a half inch. These are all have an expanded PTFE dielectric, which makes them very rugged versus air dielectric that, that you may commonly see in the market. These are very rugged cables. We have field stall solutions. We provide them also as a finished cable assembly. We have this same set of cables also available in an outdoor rated and a riser rated. So that makes up nine of the cables in the portfolio right there. The other four cables in our portfolio are what we call our TFT cables. We have two sizes. We have a 141 core and we have a quarter inch. So we have the TF TFT 402, which is our 141, and our TFT 401, which is our quarter inch. These cables are ultra flexible cables. Usually not something you see when you talk, talk low pin. They use a silver plated copper flat braid, the standard TFT cables, and a silver plated round wire braid over that. These cables will perform beautifully in terms of PIM, in terms of dynamic PIM performance where you rotate the cable behind the connector. You know, with our cable assemblies, they're 100% tested. We also have two cables that are what we call TFT-LF. It's TFT-402-LF and TFT-401-LF. These cables use a tinned copper conductor versus a silver-plated conductor. These are a little more cost-effective, same PIM performance. A little higher insertion loss, depending upon what you're doing, you know, so if you're looking to balance, you know, you may, if you're running short runs, you may be able to use these LF cables and, and save a little money. But this portfolio of cables makes up an excellent, in terms of small core cables, in terms of DAS systems. TFT, to give you a little feel for flexibility, here's the quarter inch TFT. I mean, you can take this cable and you can just imagine how flexible this cable is. There's cables out there that look very similar to this, they're solder braid cables. These solder braid cables will not hold up over time with flexing. They'll start to crack and you'll start to degrade your passive intermount performance, your insertion loss, and your, and your shielding. These cables will not do that. Here's a, is a TFT402 cable. This happens to have 1.0, 2.3 DINs. This is actually a low PIM, 1.0, 2.3 DIN. And as you can see, a very, very flexible cable. If you got uh, tight area and head end equipment, uh, uh, conduits, bulkheads, raceways to run through where, where space is, is an issue, flexibility is important, the TFTs are, are a good uh, cable to work with. All of these cables are on IB Wave. There's VEX files available on IB Wave. You can, you can access our website to find the data sheets for TFT, SPP, SPO, and SPF, which make up the entire uh, family. There are smart number tools and costing tools also on the website. One thing that I'd really like to point out, which I think is very important, is that every cable that we make of these low PIM cables, we place the actual electrical data for that cable, for that specific assembly on the cable itself. The passive intermod value, that's the worst case dynamic PIM value that's placed on the cable, the VSWR, and the insertion loss for that specific cable assembly. There is also a serial number on there. That serial number can be traced back to our website. So it becomes basically a standalone component that's traceable, tested, traceable component. All of our SPP, SPO, and SPF cables all have molded boots, the ruggedized IP67 molded boots. We have thousands of these cable assemblies in stock. We have a stock check link on our website. You can go to that stock check link and you can, you can put in SPP, SPO, TFT, and you can see a complete listing of all those cable assemblies of different configurations that are in stock at any given time. Thank you, thank you very much.